Hey guys, welcome back to Granboo Fantasy Relink. Uh, so we're about to head over to, I believe, the Wind Primeval Beast, but we'll see. Let's talk to him. Uh, I won't. I probably won't listen to every single dialogue, mainly because there's just way too much talking. You know what happened? Calm. Alter. Sound familiar. Uh, what? Con connected to a Bahama going ballistic. Uh, sounds an awful like a primeval beast. よし。それでは行ってきます。あの。およ。先ほどはどうも。ご用事でしたら後日でお願い。担当直入に言おう。え何やら困っているのそれはありがたい。さっき聖少獣って言ってた。俺らは今日この空域にたどり着いたんだ
僕不思議な二人で一人ルリアは僕の次の瞬間資源の竜その力に恐れもしもあの人これからの旅もたでも何かあ、ah, okay so it's basically just a huge block of text that tells you basically what the game of the character's background history is like and all that stuff um but i'm actually not a huge fan of it oh i can't skip it i have to watch it i'll, I'll just go for it really quickly because i want the stats but i don't care too much about the story unfortunately that's just for this kind of game i don't really care too much so unfortunate yeah but yeah stats very useful because you get a lot of stats from it but there's a lot to go through which is very annoying i don't like this whole thing i appreciate that there's a lot of voiceover and stuff though so there's a lot of effort put into it i just don't appreciate it um in a good in, in like a not a disrespectful way it's just that i don't want to spend too much time watching all this when i can just skip through it quickly um it, i i feel like uh, i'm so conflicted because it feels like i'm wasting the efforts of the developers because they spent all this time to like build out all these storied pl uh, plot lines and like voicing each section of it but I don't want to watch it because it's going to take me very long to beat the game in that case. Uh, so I'm just skipping through it. But it does. But I also don't want to just leave it out mainly because they give a significant stat boost. So I still have to go through each one. But I'm not listening to it or reading it because it's way too fast. There's like way too much stuff there. But yeah, but I think my read on the initial part is correct. Like this game is designed to try and absorb a new younger audience into Grand Blue Fantasy Mobile because it's a very old game. And so there's so much background building for all the characters and like what they're like and all that because there's 10 years of history and story writing from the mobile game um, that most people that play this game probably won't know uh, including myself because like i don't know what the whole story is about or what the whole idea of the game is i just know it's a mobile game that's extremely grindy and it's hard to get into and so i think that's the point of all these storyline backgrounds is to really build up the expectation and interest in the game and ip itself um but there's too much telling honestly just in this whole section i would have preferred if it was like more condensed and you had something to do rather than just sit here and listen and read all the story it's very hard to get into difficult to like move get into like the whole mood of the storytelling method um mainly just because it's very dry because you're just sitting here listening to so much like imagine if i wasn't skipping through all the numerous episodes how many minutes would that have taken like 20 minutes just listening each line one by one and listening to everything instead i'm spamming x to the fastest way i can do it um because i really want to get into the action of the game I wonder if there's a way to actually skip through this before without having to get into the. No. Yeah, you just have to watch it. Okay, so let's do some of this quest stuff. Uh, let's see. Worried about Papa, Bash Goblins, Protect Our Woods, Horde Limits, 20 minutes. Wow, 20 minutes. 
Okay, so I, I took on Bash this. Oh. Oh, okay, so it's separate from that. I press square and I move into the storyline. Oh, wow, that loaded really fast. And then I can skip the opening cutscene because it doesn't add anything. Controlling Captain. Uh, chargeable for more power. Pulling off increases adept arts. I wish there was a way to, like, switch. Use SBA when I do. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't want them to use an ability before I use it. Yeah, but I really wish there was a way for me to switch characters to use, so I don't have to just use one character. Okay, managed to dodge perfect dodge, which is cool. Oh, someone in the team heals. I don't know who. Wait, I just noticed there's challenges on the top right. There's throwing objects? Oh, I can grab stuff and throw. That's so cool. Oh, I couldn't clear within two minutes. Damn. <laughs> Wait, Rosetta got more from than me? That's so strange. Okay, so there's still level up with uh, S ranks and all that stuff. That's cool. Ooh, lots of rewards. I like that. Oh, you can repeat a quest if you're grinding something. Okay, that's cool. I feel like this is a really good fun online game once you unlock the hard bosses because i like that part that that whole group fight thing was actually pretty amusing uh, i really kind of liked that part felt pretty good oh and then the characters you have to level up independently which is a little bit annoying Okay. Okay, let's try leveling Catalina a little bit. Uh, she has three skills, one attack, and I don't have anything else for her. So she has two defensive skills right now, which is fairly tanky. What is this? Wait, can I get a description of what it does? Earn more rupees. Oh, that's, that's really good. 
Okay, so Catalina, let's go see. I try her out with another quest. Um, very interested in seeing what, how she plays. This is a bus. Oh, the crocodile again. Let's do this one first then. Okay, so you can swap to Catalina. I'm assuming once I get like more weapons, I can also switch the main character's weapons and stuff uh, and he'll probably have like different ways to fight former knight uh wielding a magic sword adept warrior adapts to any situations trailer triangle triangle to sweeping attack wait commandless oh okay square triangle square square triangle square 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 triangle lots of squares some triangles and then triple triangle okay pretty standard Uh, the free, free foes with fo thrown objects. Oh, I should do that first then. Ooh, this is slow. Oh, and I can't dodge with it. Uh. Oh, damn. Okay, so she has that little blue sword thingy which helps her, uh, I guess, improve spell effects or something. Wow, that two minute timer is actually very hard to uh, actually get. Like, I was thinking it would probably be easy to get, but it's not easy at all. Because, like, I'm about to run out of the timer again. And I don't think I'm even remotely close to being able to achieve that. Yeah, not even close. I got another attack power. So now I have two attack power sigils. Okay. So I tried Catalina. She's kind of cool. Let's try Rackham this time. Uh, mastery points. 
Oh, I think you get mastery points just from completing a quest, because I don't think I got that many levels and I still got 10 points. Oh, damn. Uh, let's see. So I think this guy is very heavy on attack, so I'm going to give him... But what does this do? Increase the stock of recovery items. Yeah, I'll give him more attack. And I guess I'll give her the potion healer. Hoarder. Let's see. Uh, I can probably go to the blacksmith. To upgrade. Wait. Oh, how come I can't find the other one? Huh. Uh, automatically select the best ones. You can get it to level 10 really easily. Okay. Kind of strange. I thought I would be able to get the um, the level 1 attack power one to level up, but it doesn't seem like I can do that. Okay, that's one quest done. Uh, and the second quest over there is also completed, so I can do that too. Okay, so now let's take out the last quest, which is fighting the little dinosaur thing again. Okay, Rackham is a man tasked with helming the Grand Cipher. Two guns allow him to cover allies at long and close range. Press square to fire once or hold to fire after your shot burst. Triangle attack is chargeable, which increases its range and damage. Uh, skills in square attacks fill the heat gauge. Triangle charges faster the higher the heat gauge. Okay. So he has hold, hold. Oh, wow. Okay. Seems pretty straightforward, actually. Oh, if you time the attacks right when it's finished. Oh, that's cool. Whoa, he does a lot of damage. I think I kind of like his playstyle. Wow, he does a lot of damage compared to the main character. Blood first, some boxes gain blood first from makes skybound arts ineffective and greatly reduces damage taken. Oh wow, I'm taking so much damage from that, whoa. Oh. Ooh. Oh, 
Ooh, wow, I'm taking so much damage. Oof. That was really hard to dodge. Okay. Yeah, I, I kind of like the uh, the play style of oh, there's chess. But yeah, I kind of really like the play style of uh, Rackham. Build up heat with this rhythmic timing on the shot, and then charge from really big explosive shots with your shotgun. Feels pretty fun to play. I like it. His play style is fun for me. Stun power. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I saw the um, mastery points that come from the mission. I got six points. Okay, so let's go take on this... Um, Oh, yeah, actually, let's upgrade the weapon first. Upgrade weapon for Rackham, because I really like his damage. I mean, he's really straightforward, because he only has Hold Square and Hold Triangle. There isn't anything else to his moveset, basically. Um, but it's fun. So, Enhance, and I'm assuming he can... What? Level 10 is the max? But there's like seven, six stars there. Oh. If it's anything like Grand Blue, then you would need to farm bosses to craft weapons and then up fuse to upgrade, which is gonna be time consuming. Okay, so let's uh, whoa, I have 26 points. That's cool. Let's add more critical rate, crit, more critical hit rate. Uh, stun power, attack power, skybound art, skills. Let's boost skills. What is this? Link up. Link level gained. Rate at which he depletes. Stun power. More attack. Oh, I can't. Okay, maxed out. Let's see, all these skills that I've added um, is about 7% of the entire tree. So that means, let's see, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 15 skills is about 7%. So I can assume that there's about 200 skills, I think. That's good. That's pretty good. Okay, so let's head over to... The main story quest? Yep, good to go. Okay. <laughs> あと
僕はフォルカの教会で司祭代理を務めるローランと申します私はカタリナこの気空団の一員だラカムだよろしくな私はヒオオイゲンだロゼッタよオイラはピーティンだルリアですよろしくお願いしますそして彼が団長だへえこんなに若いのに気空団の団長ですって<笑>うんこれは僕も負けてはいられません実は僕教会にお仕えする傍ら便利屋も営んでおりましてね家具の修理から恋の悩みまでお困りごとはズバッと解決この便利アローランに不可能はありません<笑>という感じではいなんかちょっと変わったやつみてえだなし聞こえちゃうでしょひとまずよろしくな便利屋の兄ちゃん兄ちゃん<笑>僕の名前はローランですはうわかったよ便利屋の兄ちゃんローランです<笑><笑>到着までしばらく時間がかかります皆さんの様子を見てきてはいかがでしょうし小さい船で恐縮ですがしばしご辛抱を。住んでいるフォルカのある島も含めこの一帯は群島なんですよそれで目的の島に着いてだが到着までどれくらいだはいもう間もなくですみんな避難してくれているといいのですがそのテンペールだってかどんなところなんだ活気あふれる鉱山の村です珍しい鉱石が取れることで有名なんですよあれ見てくださいあの島の島風なんだか変ですなんだどうしたってんだこんなところで突風これはまさかいやそんなはずは。に少ないですね。ローランさん、実は。なるほど。暴風の混乱に乗じて、ゴブリンが襲撃してきたと。我々はなんとか逃げ切れたが、後続のものが到着しないのが気になってな。わかりました。あとはこのベンディアローランにお任せください。おお。ありがたいみんなにも伝えてくるよとは言ったものの避難してきた彼らを
ここに残していくわけにもさてどうしたものか団長ゴブリンな魔物だってんならここは俺たちの出番じゃねえか僕たちに手伝わせてくださいいいんですかそれはとても心強いいやはや皆さんに来ていただけてよかったありがとうございます僕は避難してきた彼らを船に乗せてから向かいます皆さんは道すがら逃げ遅れた方々を見つけてもらえればとうん分かった任せといてそうだこれを何かあったらこれで連絡を取り合いましょうなんだこのへんてこな花みてえなのは電線機の類ですそれがあればお互い離れた場所で会話することができます電線機ってすごく高価なものですよねいいんでしょうかはい構いませんなぜ僕の手作りなものであちなみに信号灯としても利用できます皆さんを誘導するときにでも活用していただければへえー、さすが便利屋の兄ちゃんだなローランですこんな貴重なもんまで持ってるなんてよありがとうございます大事に使わせてもらいますねあそこからテンペールへ続く道に出られます逃げ遅れた方々の保護をよろしく頼みますさていつでも行けるぜ Oh, it opened up. Oh, didn't pay attention to that. Oops. Matagri. <laughs> Let's see, fully heals. Oh, pit stop. Okay. Oh, this is where the demo starts. I see. So the demo wasn't the very first mission. Instead, it's just a little bit past the first mission. Okay, Rakan feels extremely strong. Like, you just have to stand there and keep on shooting, and everyone's dead.
拘束されている人たちを解放しよう。無事で何よりです。さあ皆さん、こちらへ。よし、もう大丈夫だ。ありがとう。よく頑張ったわね。私は今猛烈に感動。Okay, I have to head up here. Oh no! Oh, yep, yeah, okay, good. Managed to get up. Oh. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Yeah, you know, like, I don't know how it kind of feels to see the combat, but, like, there isn't too much for me to say because it's very straightforward. And, like, I think the game really shines when you're not fighting these regular mobs. It's the big fights that are cool. These regular mobs are way too simple. It's just not entirely enjoyable for me. Like, energy is very low fighting these regular mobs. It's not that cool. But when I was fighting the Quackzilla thing, that was really cool. So I'm, I'm hoping the game eventually gets to the point where you're just fighting those big monsters, the bosses, and not so much, like, these smaller sequences. あるぐるわ。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。Okay, so there's still someone to rescue. 
So let's go. Okay, this feels kind of like the final boss or something. Oh, everyone's fully uh, maxed out on the special break, so let's do it. Oh, I still have to walk over to talk to them? It should have been like automatic or something.君たちは一体… だんちょ。島の人たちを助けよう。お前ならそう言うと思ったぜ。おい、ベリアの兄ちゃん。ローランです。はい、こちらローラン。おいらたちは鳥で皆さんに頼り切りですみません。どうかお気をつけて。それじゃあ、急ぎましょう。ゴブリンどもが作った鳥でってとこか。これ。警戒しながら進もう。Oh wait, can I switch characters mid-combat? Oh, I can! Right? Oh, you can switch mid-combat! That changes things! So if you get bored playing one character, you can switch around. That's cool. Okay, I'm going to switch over to the main character a little bit. Because uh, I feel like I like up close and personal combat more than... Knick -knick. Uh, let's see. Blacksmith can be accessed out here. Cool. Nicknack is just buying random stuff. Okay, let's upgrade Rand's weapon.
Oh, okay, I see. You can't level up the Sigil unless it's like higher level. There's different rarities for the Sigils. <laughs> Sounds like an ogre or something. Well, that was close. Okay, so this is actually pretty intense. I, I do like this part where we're fighting bosses. So yeah, I do think like Grand Blue's selling point really are these boss fights. There's a lot of things to watch out for and I'm sure it'll get even more crazy as you climb the difficulty levels. Like if you, uh, once you get closer to like end game, it'll be even more and more insane. So there's some promise in this game. It's just the, the process of getting there is not as fun and interactive as it should be I think and that's like it's a little bit of a unfortunate thing but I mean it is what it is but at least uh, I, the core gameplay itself is fine it's just the, the, the I guess the content towards the end game is a little bit too I don't know, I want to say slow. Like, it's not active enough. It's too long winded, basically. But what's there is pretty fun. I, I found that pretty enjoyable. That was pretty good. はい。間違いありません。テンペールにいる聖少女の力だと思います。ピンゴってな。こっからが本番ってわけだ。皆さん、無事ですか。囚われていた方々はこちらは問題ない。囚われていたみんなも無事だ。ほら、じっとして。助かった。よかった。皆さん、本当にありがとうございます。さてと、じゃ、この嵐を起こした張本人に会いに行くとするか。中野君、何を言い出すんです。<笑> 
ポルカを離れる前に行ったはずだぜ青少獣の問題は俺らも無関係じゃねえのさしかしこの状況で残るなんて正気ですかでも私たちがここで青少獣を沈めないとこの島はもっと大変なことになってしまうと思うんですししかしですねたちを信じてください団長君わかりました聞くうちである君がそこまで言うからにはきっと何か考えがあるんでしょうですがもし危険を感じたら迷わず撤退してくださいねまだ謝礼もお渡しできてませんのでわかってるってば心配してくれてありがとうではしばしお待ちをせめて近くまで送らせてくださいこのあれ具合ティアマトを思い出すぜそうだなん Why is it a black screen? I pressed Oh, it just loaded longer. Okay, so it seems like there's the Pymo Beast is up next as the main fight, and it seems like maybe. That's how this game's designed. It's a very linear game where you're just doing like part one, part two, part three, and you just keep on building towards like fighting the big fights, I think. At least that's what it's feeling like right now. So I'm assuming we'll have a fight with the Primal Beast fairly soon.、Uh, and I'm assuming since it's an air unit, I'll probably need to use a gun. It's probably better for me to switch back to Rackham. Otherwise, I'll probably have a hard time shooting or, or hitting the boss.、Um, so let's just keep on boosting the attack a little bit. Ooh. Wild gun smoke attack up. Critical hit up. Increase. Inflicts defense down. Oh, but you can get unlimited ultimate spam. That sounds really cool. Raises Rackham's movement speed during square attacks. Oh, that sounds extremely useful. Okay. But I'm, I'm leveling Rackham a lot,、um, but I don't think I particularly really like him as, like. Like, I don't think his playstyle is extremely fun or anything, but he's probably like the most effective, which is why I'm leveling him, because I feel like he'll be a really essential part of the party,、um, mainly because he's ranged, and I don't think there's that many ranged characters. Like, I don't think there are that many gun users, so he's always going to be able to do a significant amount of damage. Garuda, or is it Sophie? Or whatever.
もう逃げられねえぜ<笑>ああそれで村を襲われたんじゃどうにもたまったもんじゃねえ Wow, this is actually extremely strong. I can get four shots of the charge shot off before it wears off. That is such a strong skill.、Uh, it's just the, the one that I just unlocked for a rack amp. Like, you can get max heat and then stop it from going down. So, if I combo that with the、uh, raining bullets kind of thing, I can probably use like. Six charge ups before I have to worry about building heat again. What? Oh. Man, this is really hard to navigate. I don't really know where to go.、Uh, shrouded treasure. Opening these tantalizing treasure chests takes a little extra leg work. Touch this chest and collect all the Mirage Stones before they disappear to earn your reward. Oh. So that's like the Genshin、uh, treasure chest. Critical hit rate? Oh! Wait. Oh, I can't enter my, the menu right now. Okay. I wonder if this is actually timed or if it's like scripted until you reach a certain milestone. Well, I'm not gonna stay behind to find out, so. Okay,、uh, I'm gonna equip the critical hit. Which feels like it's gonna be super useful. 13% critical hit. Whoa. And then I can. Hopefully, upgrade it. Nope, not enough griffin feathers. Oh, yeah, I forgot to check the minimap for treasure chests. I hope I don't have to redo this.、Um, but let's see, we should be unlocking some challenge trophies here. So let's just collect all. Well, nothing really interesting there.、Um, but yeah, let's go ahead to the boss. I don't think there's any more chests here, so I can just run straight to it. And then I should be fighting the primeval beast, which is going to be interesting.
furry cane. Oh, this isn't what I was expecting to fight. ルリアに力を吸収してもらう。このままこの倒れだけは勘弁だ。一旦おとなしくしてもらうとするぜ。隠れて助けるからね。ああ、あらしさ。ジアマトの風とは似ても似つかんな。いやいや、主導に。暴
No, I couldn't run. No, no. Oh, that was close. I almost died. I don't know what happens if I die. Like, do I game over because I'm used I die on the main character, or is it still fine if I die? I don't know. But at least I don't have to find out now. Oh man, that was pretty good. I like that fight. That was fun. ルリアちゃんの力とは別に。ルリア、大丈夫か？あれは私じゃ私は何も。ってわけじゃなさそうだな。奴らもなかなかやるようだな。勘違いなさらぬよう。今日の役目はお出迎えですわ。キレンらは。お待ちしておりましたわ。救世の巫女様。さあ、私たちと共に参りましょう。ルリアに何をする。どういうつもりだ。ここは俺が。まあいいけどよ。九十秒で済ませ。Oh, mysterious swordsman. This guy's voice sounds really familiar too. But I don't recall.
えましたの御子よ私たちはあなたを歓迎しますえ私ですかあ,あなたはまるで加藤に伝わるスレノディの青い蝶ああ籠城しますこのような仕打ちを受け戸惑っているのですねお前ら一体何なんだよ何が目的なんだんこれは失礼私はナオリです星旅の室アビアの王さん理想郷イスタルシアへ至る道を開くため活動しているものです東京それってオイラたちが目指してる星の島イスタルシアのことかよおおなんと私たちと同じ目的をそれであれば話は早いこの出会いあなたたちにとっても良好でしたあとは任せていただきましょうさあ救世の巫女これからは私たちと共に星神様のもとを巡礼しイスタルシアへ至る道を開くのです待ちやがれさっきから何勝手なこと言ってんだこの野郎はいいぞふさわしくない。
姉さんたちのところに行こうぜみんな心配してたからな<笑>止めないでくれルリエを助けなければ落ち着けって語りな私は私は誓ったんだルリアに外の世界を雄大な空の世界を見せるとそれがこんなことになって私が守ってやれなくてどうするあ団長その様子じゃもう平気そうだなったく心配させやがって団長すまない私の力が及ばないばかりにルリアお待たせしました皆さん襲った教団の行き先が分かりました何どこだあの連中はルリアをどこへさらっていったおい、お姉さん、落ち着けっておいらたちのために情報を集めてくれてたんだぜああ、すまない大丈夫ですよカタリナ君の気持ちは僕も理解しているつもりですそれに、皆さんはテンペールを救ってくれた恩人ですから今度は僕に力にならせてくださいアビア教団の情報を調べるくらいお安い御用ですよどうやらこの町の人は星旅の室アビアのことを教団と呼んでるみたいねと団長君体の具合はどうですもう大丈夫ですよかった本当に無事で何よりですでその教団であるの行き先はおそらくルリアちゃんはロンターニュ島に連れて行かれようとしていますロンターここからは僕も同行しましょう案内は任せてくださいおいおいちょっと待ってくれ俺たちは聞くしな一般人の身の保証はローランドのただものではないだろうと思っていたが。貴殿は一体てへへアビア教団の活動は日ごとに苛烈になってきています連中がテンペイルの地で武力を使い旅人のルリアちゃんを連れ去るなど僕としても見過ごすわけにはいかないのですそれに分かってもらえたと思いますが剣には多少の心得はあります足手まといにはなりませんよこの空域じゃくせもんってわけかま追いかける相手が同じってんならお言葉に甘えるとしようや<笑>それで皆さんが乗ってきたというあの青くて大きなグランサイファーなそうそのグランサイファーの修理ですがまもなく完了しますもちろん僕もお手伝いしましたよちゃんと最新式のんあと何でもありませんこっちの話ですあとは団長君に新しい剣と防具を用意させてもらいましたボロボロで使えなくなってましたからねすげえなイカレビ尽くせりじゃねえか皆さんがいなければ今頃はこのフォルカもどうなっていたか分かりませんこれでもまだ感謝したりないくらいなんですよ<笑>ありがとな便利屋の兄ちゃんローランです協力に感謝するローランドのよし早速行こうわかりました僕も準備して町の発着場へ向かいますまた後ほど<音楽>リリス僕は必ず。
Wait, I'm already on chapter four? <laughs> Where did I go through the other three chapters? I didn't even realize. What the heck? Oh, that's funny. It went through so many chapters so fast. I didn't even realize I, I went through all those other chapters. Oh, got a new uniform. Uh, let's see. What else did I get? ルリア毎晩とても楽しそうに教えてくれるんだ。それを聞いていると、この旅に出て本当に良かったと思えた。だからこそ、こんな道半ばで私は空の果てを無限の空を一緒に見ようと。嘘。ルリアと約束した。だから共に行
<laughs> Whoops. Sneeze there. Uh, okay. So there is a quest. Okay, so there's a quest I can hand in here, so let's do that. Prison chip, Rupee Tycoon. Okay, oh, the quests actually give uh, mastery points too, I didn't realize the first time. Uh, I mean, when I initially did them. Okay, so let's talk to Io. Oh, Rosa, I put on makeup. Okay, I have to save her. Yep. Crewmate card. Uh, she'll call in a new crewmate for you. Oh! Oh! Can I. I can call in new crewmates now? Just one, though. Okay. Let's see. Primal Beast, Seal Weapon, Great Scythe. Oh, that looks really cool. He looks evil. Ease of Use is 4. Uh, let's see. I wonder if how strong they are is related to how strong they are in the original game. Because I remember Nar Narmaria... Narmaria is actually extremely strong in Grand Blue Fantasy. Um, and so is Charlotta. She's extremely strong in original Grand Blue. And then Zeta Landslide is okay. Siegfried is really strong. Let's go with Narmaria because I remember she's extremely strong in Grand Blue Fantasy. Against Sir Borrowed? Sure. And she uses a katana too, so that's even better. Controlling Narmaya. Press triangles switch between free flutter stance and dawn fly stance. Uh, fast combos versus hitting a lot of enemies at once. Gains a bullet fly whenever she lands a charged square in dawn fly stance or completes a free flutter combo. Butterflies enhance the next skill used and are automatically consumed upon activation. Okay. Stance shift 1 2 uh, perfect hold perfect triangle. I don't know what that means. What is a perfect triangle? It doesn't really tell me. I guess I'll figure out. Oh, okay, so this is the regular stats. Oh! Wait. Oh, this is so cool. I really like her playstyle already. Wow, she's so good. Like, she's so fast, and like, her combos are so good. Okay, I'm done testing. Like, she's super fun. Um, but let's see. How do I use this again? Dawn stance. Okay, nope, that isn't it. So, Dawn Fly stance. Hold. I don't think that's the perfect stance. Like that? No, that doesn't feel perfect either. Like that? I don't think so. I don't understand how to do the stance shift combo. What is perfect triangle? 
Like that? No, I didn't get any butterfly though. So I'm supposed to get butterfly if I hold square. Do I have to? How hard? How much square do I need? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's. Okay, I get it. Holding square until it completely maxes out is how you get a perfect one. Oh yeah, I wonder if she got anything new. Nope. Nope. Nope, nothing new. Um, but let's see. Since I got a new party member, does she start off at level 1? No, she starts off at level 10. Oh, and her weapon is also level 10. Cool. Uh, well, I really like how she plays. So I'm going to upgrade her weapon right away. And add her into the team. So let's do this. Uh, what? Wait. Why, why did it not... Oh, I don't have enough rupees. I see. Uh, let's see. So she has really large high damage hits. So I think critical strike is probably good for her. Um, which means for Rackham, I will be using attack power instead. Or maybe stun. Yeah, stun would be really good. So he can be like a long range stunner. Uh, yeah. And then mastery's weapon collection bonus. Oh. Boost stats of a weapon's wielder. The character keeps the stat boots even if the weapon is equipped. Oh, that is so cool. You can get more weapons. Oh. Oh, wow. There's a lot of... There's a fish sword. Okay, so the game is starting to open up. That's actually really good. I was really concerned about the game being... Oh, wow, she comes with all these stats, skills already learned. But I, I was really concerned that the game would be very, like, unfulfilling to play. Um, mainly because, like, I, uh, I I thought the game wouldn't be, like, as fully fledged out because it felt kind of like a, a hashy kind of RPG. Um, but it seems like it's actually extremely fulfilling to play if you put enough time into it so that's actually very good uh i'm i'm very happy to find out that the game is more fleshed out than it appeared the demo did not do the game any favors like after playing the demo i was not extremely impressed with the game uh mainly just because i felt like it was very simple you had four skills to use uh, you had square, you have triangle, um, but now seeing that there's like an entire tree for you to unlock and stuff, that is very typical JRPG kind of thing. And I really wish they went more in on selling that point because the demo did not sell me on the game at all. And the little scripted fight that they had, they had a quest where you could just fight a boss. That did not sell me on the game either because I didn't know you had so much customization and stuff that you can actually work on because none of that was available in the demo, uh, at least not in, in uh, not as in depth as it should be. Um, and so I was not impressed with the demo at all. But now I'm actually pretty happy with uh, what I'm seeing and I'll probably be doing a little bit of the side quests here on my own because um, I don't think these add anything to the oh I'm going to be going through this dialogue as well first but uh, I'll probably be doing the side quest counter stuff by myself because um, I don't think it adds anything to the story and it doesn't feel too interesting to actually see Wait. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to force me to depart. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of Fate episodes, and since I just skip it, 
I don't know if uh, it's worth showing it either. I mean, people can pause and read it, but I don't know if it's really worthwhile to do that. Uh, okay, so there's nothing else here. And I already got the first uh, clear reward. There's a bunch of stuff that I'm, I'm, I can do, and I think there's a... Is that a weapon? I think it is. So that's cool. I don't see anything else interesting here, though. Okay. for healing, Rackham for damage. Okay. Pretty good. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think I'll be ending it here, and then I will probably do a little bit of the side quests on my own, uh, just to make sure every character is up to par in terms of power levels so i'll be a little bit higher level when i get back to this part um but the next part should continue with the next sequence in the story uh, i'll probably be doing a full playthrough of the entire thing and then uh hopefully i will be able to showcase a little bit of co-op battle just random experience to see how the game plays in co-op um and definitely i will showcase any of the end game content as well uh but yeah lots to look out for uh pretty excited pretty pumped um i'm glad i gave this game a chance and bought it on sale uh normally i would like if i if the demo doesn't uh attract me i would probably just skip the game completely um but yeah i don't know why japanese games seems to do really poorly with the demos like for spoken demo was actually really bad to the point where it was like it did not help the end game at all like it's better if you just didn't even have a demo and grand blue link uh, relink is exactly the same the demo did not do the game any favors because the core combat is so not complex it's too simple um and so the selling point for me really is the potential for like completing these uh challenges is interesting to me i really like doing these kind of challenges which gives you rewards so it feels rewarding the upgrade system with the blacksmith and masteries and skill customization uh gear customization potential to upgrade and continue like building stuff is what's interesting to me um if this was showcased at the beginning in the demo i probably would have bought this at launch because i really like these full-fledged and customization rpgs but the demo didn't have any of that it was instead very bare bones just showcasing the combat which i believe is actually the weaker link in this game it's nothing to really write home about um and the fights weren't as complex as it could have been um the fighting goblins and stuff is not fun at all it's just spamming square um, but it's where the big fights, that's where this game shines. And they really could have leaned on to selling that. Like, I was already bored when I was doing the initial demo. Um, fighting goblins, getting through that whole story sequence. They didn't even include the giant goblin boss. Because they wanted to keep it as a surprise for the main game. But that's where you fell short. If you gave me that goblin boss, that was fun. That would have been good. But you didn't. You gave me, like goblin fights where i just spam square that was not fun at all it was boring uh so yeah cool starting to really enjoy this game uh about two and a half hours three hours into the game starting to really enjoy it uh which is great because i spent like uh, 55 dollars canadian on this uh so i'm glad i'm enjoying it um but yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one